I'm trying to go around saying I'm the tough old man, but look at me. <laughs> Thomas Norton and his sister Karen joke as any siblings would. It's hard to guess that the two met for the very first time today. I never really get emotional, but then sometimes when you meet the family, real family. It's, it's difficult. It's, but at the same time, too, you look for something positive, and he walked in. They were separated by the 60s scoop, a 20-year period starting in the 60s in which thousands of Aboriginal children were taken from their parents by welfare agencies and placed with non-Native families. Authorities at the time said they were acting in the children's best interest. They need to come home. But those who lived through it the say they were robbed of their cultural walk. identities. I lost who I was, who I was supposed to be. What Marcia Brown Martell was taken when she was four years old. She's the lead plaintiff in a lawsuit alleging that the federal government failed to protect the children's heritage. There's no words to describe that kind of harm to a nation, to a nation of Indigenous people. There's no words for that. The Truth and Reconciliation Commission linked the 60s scoop to residential schools, finding that in some ways it was a transferring of children from one form of institutional care, the residential school, to a child welfare agency. The lawsuit supporters hope the Liberal government's recent commitment to improve Indigenous relations will lead to a positive outcome. I'm just happy that I met you. <laughs> yeah. And for Thomas Norton, a way forward with his siblings. And the bridge needs to be, you know, crossed between, you know, what the past is and, and what the future holds for us. And I think if we, we all work together towards it, then yes, then we'll, we'll, we'll get further ahead. The case was adjourned until December. The government, though, Ian, has suggested that it would prefer to discuss the matter away from the court system.